going to bring in Ian Margle right now, who's laughing at my dad joke yeah. about how it's hot out here and it was heated on there. Look, I had to make a transition somehow, right? Um, so we hear from the Panthers. They're taking this as a learning experience, yeah. going to try to get better for game two. You spoke to some fans earlier sure. today. How are they feeling? Look, no one's excited about how that went, right? Everyone's disappointed. But I think the Panthers have proven enough throughout this playoff run where people trust that they can come back from this, right? They've really shown that they can. And so there are a lot of fans that are out here in Vegas. We've been trying to meet as many of them as possible. And actually, there are some that live here now as well. Go, go Panthers! Panthers! Let's go. Pan Pan Cats fans are out in force in Las Vegas, still feeling confident even after a heartbreaking loss in game one. We're continuing to look for more Florida Panthers fans here in Las Vegas. So we came to the Strat, the outdoor observation deck. It is the tallest freestanding observation tower in the United States. So this is our best chance to find Cats fans here in the desert. The Strat is more than 1,100 feet tall. That's nearly four times the height of the Statue of Liberty and nearly twice as tall as the Space Needle in Seattle. But I didn't spot any Cats fans from way up there, so instead, I just took the opportunity to take a pretty sweet selfie, showing off my Panthers gear at the highest point in Las Vegas. Here you got your Stanley Cup towel from when they played against the Bruins in the very first playoff game in 96. Back on the ground, we did find this couple, Linda and Greg Roberts, die-hard Panther fans who moved from Sunrise to the Sin City a few years ago. They both say they were thrilled to see the Cats make it to the final, but had some inner conflict once we found out who they'd be playing against, since they root for Vegas in every game, except for the ones when they play the Panthers. You've adopted a new team just because of location, but some real fandom to say, forget that, this is, this is where home is. Yeah, 46 years in South Florida, I will always bleed Panthers, Dolphins, and Marlins and Hurricanes. It's absolutely great to actually be back at the Stanley Cup. I mean, there was no doubt in my mind that we were going to be rooting for the Panthers, even if we were paying the Knights. So, yeah, <laughs> it's great. And you know how when during the National Anthem play at FLA Live Arena, everyone yells red. Mm -hmm. We were impressed at how many people here in Vegas were yelling red. Now, you said, let's see how many people yell night, and then we remembered that it's the Knights and they all yell night. Yeah. But it was really, really cool to see, even at FLA Live Arena, how yeah. many people came out and just the atmosphere surrounding this team with the fans right it, now. it was a great night in both cities. It yeah. was a great night in two arenas for hockey and for sports in general. Really cool to see. And here's the good thing for both the Cats and their fans. They don't have to wait long to try to get a little revenge. Tomorrow night coming up, game two right here in the building next to me between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Florida Panthers. They'll drop the puck. 8 o'clock your time, 5 o'clock our time. For now, for Ian Margol, I'm Clay Ferrero, Local 10 News.